Hey Chad with Eat Sleep Nerd Repeat here and I just want to show you guys a quick down and dirty on how to use the line of sight tool for fantasy grounds. So go ahead and pick a map that you want to use. Make sure you can lock or unlock it. It's not read only. Go ahead and click that lock to unlock it. Now across the top you have your tools. If you go over to the brick wall it says line of sight and then that will open up a menu down below. We have a uh, wall tool, terrain tool, doors, and then toggleable walls. Uh, we're just going to worry about the first three here. So as you can see, I, I already went ahead and made out uh, a room. We can use that as an example, but I will go over here and just show you how to actually use these things. I would say, um, personally, I would start with uh, making your doors first, and I would make doors using the rectangle tool. You can zoom in to get as detailed as you want, but click and drag and just outline your doors, and that will leave them like that. Uh, moving on from doors though, um, you can toggle those open and close during play and similarly you can do that with terrain as well but stuff like windows where it's kind of conditional if you can see through them or not say uh, if you're right up against the window you can see through but if you're uh, I don't know maybe 10 or 20 feet away you may not be able to see through that window just click on your terrain tool I would still use rectangle for that uh, and then just outline outline your windows with your terrain tool like that or maybe uh, you can use that for other stuff so you have like a you plan on having a goblin hiding under your table or something you can go ahead and outline that it works very similar to the way doors do when you're dur during play you can click on those things and toggle them on or off so players can see um, past that uh, you want to make your walls and with the walls I like to use the line tool because it's just simpler that way um, you can get a little more detailed so we'll just go ahead and outline this room really quick um, so you you'll want to pick your start point and I like to uh, some of the best advice I've received is to put your wall detail your wall somewhat inside the feature so that players can see some of that definition if you click once on your point it's going to stretch it out to the next if you want to end that line of wall basically double click and it will then it won't keep continue stretching it um, so then you go ahead and outline where you want to put your walls and then to test all this uh, you want to go up to the top left of that menu and click play make sure over here on that menu it's where it says enable or disable line of sight make sure that's enabled and then you can go ahead and lock that and give yourself more room to view things you're going to want to have a character already made up luckily i already have my dragonborn fighter uh, as a test token he's named testy because that's hilarious go ahead and drag him over and then when you click on it again, you'll be able to see what that see what that character can see. And some of the ways the terrain works is uh, they may not be able to see on the other side of the terrain, even if it's low enough. But say there's a goblin hiding under the table. As the DM, you can click on that, and now it's open, and they'd be able to see under the table. Um, same with windows and stuff. If you click on a window when it says close, if you click and open it now, depending on his position, he'll be able to see outside that window. And as he backs farther away, as you can see it it, uh, it adjusts. Same with the doors. Right now he can't see through a door, but if I go ahead and click on that door, he can see through the door. And that's basically how it works. As you can see, all the walls are set the way they are. Can't see through a wall. I can't open and shut a wall, but I can open and shut doors. And same with terrain. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are interested in D&D &D or anything that I may be up to, please check out the channel. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.